Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, some Roper knives. And you guys know that I'm a big fan of uh, Roper knives. Uh, and usually I show you more traditional knives like this Ash Viper Stockman, uh, which is a really awesome full size uh, Stockman, too. That was the uh, clip point, and then here's the uh, sheep's foot. And then let's get our little uh, spay blade. So you guys can take a look at that one, too. These are awesome knives, great uh, bargain, you know, for the money, the quality that you get. Uh, definitely uh, some good knives. Uh, one that I've showed recently is this uh, Laredo Trapper. And this is beautiful with this little piece of uh, stag in the uh, handle. I just really think that that sets it off, you know, super nicely. You know, and here's your your blades. Of course, you got your uh, clip point. And then let's take a look at that large uh, spay blade that it has. Nice belly on that one. This is uh, definitely a very cool knife. And then... You guys all know my favorite, the little uh, Pecos here, the liner lock with the pocket clip and uh, just an awesome, awesome knife with that thumb stud just makes it so controllable and so easy to roll out. Uh, still love that blade shape. It's just, just a perfect uh, knife. I just love it. But today we're going to be talking about another knife and this is one of the more uh modern uh offerings that they have and that is this guy here the uh roper buffalo warrior this is not an assisted knife it just has the uh, detent but it does have a ball bearing pivot system i like how it says uh roper in script there on the uh on the blade and this is made out of D2 steel, which is uh, pretty nice here. Let's see if we can get that hole. There we go. That's the model number, the RP041 and PRC for the People's Republic of China, where it's made. And I don't know about this number here. I don't know if that's the date it was made, the 0222, or if it's some other uh serial number that they have at the factory. It's a uh, liner lock and it does have a uh, pocket clip. The pocket clip does have uh, the uh, mushroom head screws. I, I kind of wish that everybody would use the countersink screws on pocket clips. Now this one doesn't get in the way uh, as far as uh, that goes. There have been some that go in the way and it does have a little cut out there for you to uh, be able to take it off and reverse it to the other side. So you do have that and you do have a nice lanyard hole. We have uh, brass bolsters and sandalwood uh, covers. And you can see that it's all screw construction. So this is able to be uh, disassembled if you are so inclined. It does have a very uh, nice action. Once you get it past that uh, detent, it will uh, drop. Just no no problem at all. So it's just a really great knife. Uh, what we're looking at here for the uh, blade, like I said, it's made out of D2 with a satin finish. And it's uh, three and three quarter inches long. And it has a, it's four and three quarter inches when it's closed. Uh, just fantastic fit in the hand. You have lots of room left over. Uh, you know, so you can get it. If you have a large hand, this will fit uh, just fine. Just a absolutely beautiful uh, EDC knife. Because when you think about it, it does have a little bit of jimping up here. With your EDC knives, especially ones that just look uh, very plain, uh, you know, it's no one's going to get excited about it. But I mean, this is a really, really pretty knife. Uh, it just looks fantastic. 
and it just flies out there. This detent is uh, tuned just perfect. Nice little swedge up on top. Uh, it's just a really great, great knife. I've uh, not had it long, but uh, it definitely has uh, made me happy to carry it, that's for sure. But yeah, there you go. Just absolutely gorgeous. I, I just, I love knives like this because uh, if it looks good and it performs, I mean, what more can you ask for? Uh, it's pretty open construction all throughout. You can see right through it. You know, so like I said, you can take this thing apart, put it together if that's what you wish. You can see that the liners are skeletonized inside there. Uh, I didn't get a weight on this thing, but it's not very heavy. It's uh, fairly light, but just an absolutely gorgeous knife. Uh, if you like modern knives with a kind of a more traditional touch, I think this might uh, be the knife for you. Also, uh, they make a version that's slightly smaller than this. It's the same uh, looks to the knife. It's called the uh, Buffalo Scout. If you do check my uh, description box, I do have a discount code with uh, American Buffalo Knife and Tool, and that'll get you 20% off of your purchase. I don't get any kind of kickback or uh, any kind of affiliation with that at all. It's just a code that I got for my viewers, and it's a way for you guys to uh, enjoy these knives and save some money. So I encourage you to use that uh i think it's a it's a pretty good deal because there's not very many 20 percent off deals uh anymore you do have this nice little cutout here on the bolster for your finger it just like i said i just can't put this down once you start having it in hand you just want to hold on to it and just you know play with it i've never been one to really fidget with knives much but uh this one makes me want to just have it, use it, you know, hold it, open it, close it. Uh, it's just one of those kind of things. It's a very uh, uh, tactile uh, type uh, feeling with it. You just, you just want to, you know, keep messing with it. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a great knife. This is, this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy as a, a as you know, collecting knives and stuff. When you get something that in your hand, it just gives you, you know, just joy, just having this physical object. It's just, you know, it's just, I, I don't know how to describe it. I, I think you guys all have had that feeling and you just know it when you have it. Uh, here, we'll get a look at the, at the lockup. You can see it's got really nice uh, positive lockup there on the liner lock. Uh, like I said, they call it a frame lock, but to me, it, it's a liner lock because uh, it's in the in the liner, not the frame, uh, unless they're calling that the frame on the inside, which I guess that's possible. You can call anything you want, any name you want. Uh, you can just have to look at my uh, my pen knife video, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I've been schooled on that. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> and uh, but uh, yeah, this has been. Uh, just a, a fun knife. I really like it a lot. Uh, so, like I said, if you're if you like uh, kind of a more traditional looking knife, uh, but a modern EDC knife or EDC type knife, I definitely suggest this uh, Jolly Peanut. I'd like to see you get one of these uh, with your extra large hand and see if if it fills up the uh, the handle all the way. That would be uh, interesting. So. Uh, anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Oh, one more thing, that last tag that I did about the pen knives. Uh, a shout out to uh, J.O. Ventures outside, or outdoors, rather. Uh, there is a link to that channel in the uh, description box where I have a, a link of uh, many, many channels that are awesome uh, knife uh, channels and friends of this channel. And I just... Uh, encourage you to go take a look he has less than 100 subs so if you feel the the need to uh 
you know, go over there and share some, share some love. Tell him that uh, I sent you and check out some of his videos. He's got lots of uh, cool content, you know, so it's, it's kind of cool finding a new channel and uh, being able to give him a shout out. So I hope you guys do me proud and, you know, go say hi and tell him I sent you in the uh, comments. All right. Well, that's it for this one. I'm going to cut this uh, off now. I'll go out and, uh, you know, play with this knife uh, some more. And if uh, as time goes on, I'll pull it back out and show it to you, see how it wears and see how it uh, how it uh, does, you know, over a long term review. But uh, this is definitely just a absolutely gorgeous knife. Uh, I just love these. Uh, the The wood is so smooth. This uh, sandal wood. I just you know, there's no anything except the the jimping. Really, all the parts that you handle. There's nothing that feels uncomfortable. There's nothing that's misaligned here. The pocket clip doesn't poke, you know, at you or anything, and it it carries well. Uh, it's not super deep carry, uh, but it does you know. So if your pocket is there, you got that little tail end, you know, sticking out of your pocket. Perfect for uh, putting a lanyard on if you want the lanyard to loop over the uh, edge of your pocket. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for hanging in here watching this, uh, this beautiful knife. And I will see you in the next one. You guys take care. I hope you have a great week. And I'll talk to you soon.